40 to 50% of our daily activities are habits. A lot of people have the intention of making exercise a habit. And what happens is they start off with something that is unsustainable, whether it's, you know, 90 minutes, going to the gym every day, having to wake up early, having something that's unsustainable within a week or two weeks, you fall out of it and you're no longer exercising. My challenge to you is to scale back those habits that you want to create. If you want to exercise more, instead of doing a 90 minute routine, scale it down. Do five minutes, but be consistent. And by being consistent, that's going to retrain your brain to think that, oh yeah, I am someone who exercises every day. And if you can keep that consistency going, then eventually you can even add more minutes. You can do multiple five-minute workouts. You can do a five-minute in the morning, a five-minute before before bed. It becomes easier because it, it coincides with how you think about yourself. So simply start with five minutes of exercise. It's beneficial health-wise, and it's going to help you to get those longer long-standing, long-lasting goals in the future. Today on our five minute of movement, we are doing stretches for people with knee pain. Of course, if you don't have knee pain, you can still do these stretches as well because they are very preventative for preventing any issues with your knees in the future. We have five different exercises, a minute through each exercise, and that's gonna make up our five minutes of movement. Simple as that. Okay, everyone, our five minutes of movement is going to start now. We are starting with a 30-second hip flexor stretch on this right side. So if you've seen people do runner's lunge, it looks like this. The hip flexor stretch to really isolate that hip flexor, you're going to tuck that hip back, bring that arm up, and you should feel it in through the front of this hip. This is an extremely important exercise for people who are battling knee pain because we're gonna switch here actually. Two seconds, 30 seconds on the left side. Arm up, tuck that hip, feel it in the front. Like I was saying, this is extremely important for people dealing with knee pain because a lot of times knee issues are a result of either a hip problem or an ankle problem. The knee itself, isn't exactly the brightest joint. And it tends to end up absorbing the most amount of force if we have locked ankles and locked hips. Good. That one minute is down. Now we're going to do our knee extensions. So standing up, pop that right leg forward. We're going to come right above that kneecap. Extend and relax. Extend and relax extend pushing that back you should feel that stretch in the back of the knee 30 seconds on your right good and left side extend and relax extend that knee and relax extend and relax extend and relax good just hold that extension for about five seconds. Good, again, this is gonna help move that knee in a range of motion that it doesn't usually see. We tend to sit a lot, which means our knee is in flexion a lot of the time. Now we're gonna stretch our IT band. We're gonna do a minute on each IT band. So if you have a belt or a towel, this would be a good thing to have. Otherwise, you can just do it without, but I'm gonna bring that leg up and you're gonna cross it across that opposite leg and slowly release it down. And you're gonna feel this all along that left side of that left leg. Good, and you're gonna hold this for 20 more seconds. A lot of times our IT bands are overused, especially if we are runners or hikers and they can get abnormally tight and pull that knee and that patella or the kneecap out of position when the knee is tracking and that can lead to what's called runner's knee good now we're gonna switch opposite side 
in a minute here go into that right side and a lot of times you'll notice one might be tighter than another we can tend to have imbalances that are very asymmetric depending on the alignment of our hips and I do see knee issues a lot in practice and like I said before the majority of the times working on mobility into the hip and even the ankle can take a lot of that pressure off the knee as well as other issues that could be contributing like footwear if you're wearing high heels sitting good all right awesome now our last exercise is going to be some vmo or internal or medial quad activation so you're going to just basically bring your toes out to the right and bring that leg up so it's basically a leg lift good Three, five on this side good and then we're going to switch so toe rotated out so i'm using the inside of my quad and lift and lift good good these sets of exercises if you're someone who gets knee pain during activity doing these five different five different stretches before any type of activity whether it's running or hiking will help um, balance the knee before that activity and make your pain during exercise less likely good good and there we go five minutes stretching for knee pain done your movement for the day is complete unless you want to join me for another one but thanks for joining me today if you have any questions please put them in the comments below if there's certain ex exercises or stretches that you're interested in i'll be happy to do um, videos on it in the future but like i said five minutes of movement it's all it takes to create consistent change and to retrain your brain to believe that you're someone that exercises daily and that can have lasting effects on your health and your well-being so thanks for joining me i look forward to seeing you next time and shine on my beautiful friends Love the world that keep the sky.